Hi, I'm Jen Miller. Welcome to Swing Yourself Fit. Now, if you've never done a kettlebell workout, it's great because it fires the muscles in the hips, the glutes, the legs, and guess what? Your core has to hold you while all those other muscles are working. So you get the great full body workout with a lot of leg work, and you get that core to stabilize you. So you work your middle muscles the way they were meant to be worked. During the workout, we'll start with a warm up, which will use no weight and the kettlebell in its lightest setting. Then we'll move into three different workouts that will use three different increments of weight. Remember, you can always go down in your kettlebell weight or up as you become more proficient. I like to use lighter weights for the upper body and a little bit heavier weights for the lower body with a medium weight for a cardiorespiratory workout. You'll see when we get into the workout that I give you options for a hard, harder, hardest movement pattern. About every four to six repetitions, I'm going to add or take something away to make the movement harder. You'll be able to tell as you try the movement pattern. Remember, if the next version is too tough, stick with the previous version. Now here's what's important to remember about a kettlebell workout. Neutral spine. That's your body's best posture no matter what you're doing, whether you're sitting, standing, bent over, or twisting. That's very important during a kettlebell workout. And the best way to reach that neutral posture is just to stand up as tall as you can with your best posture and your hips tuck all the way forward and all the way back until you come to the middle of those two tilts. And that's neutral spine. So during the kettlebell workout, here's some things I want you to remember. Make sure you have plenty of clearance around the room so that you can swing the kettlebell up above your head and in a circle all the way around your body. During the workout, I'm going to ask you to judge how hard you're working on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being just waking up from a nap and 10 being an all-out sprint. You're going to be probably working somewhere between 3 and 7 during the workout, with 7 being at the high end and 3 being recovering. So you'll see during the workout that I'll give you options for hard, harder, hardest. When you're at the hardest point of the workout, you may feel like you're working somewhere around 7. If you're not working hard enough, you might want to add weight to your kettlebell. And if you're working too hard, you might want to take it away or put the kettlebell down and just mimic the movements with your hands and a loose fist. During the workout, you want to drink water. Even though you're working hard and using the kettlebell, you may not realize that you're sweating profusely during the hard portions. Get water anytime during the workout. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Grab your kettlebell and let's have some fun. Okay guys, we're gonna start with a march on the right foot. Everybody ready? Here we go. March. You've got your lightweight kettlebell in front of you at all times. Check it, make sure you don't walk into it. <laughs> all right, you're gonna take those legs a little farther apart, come down into this sort of ready position. Keep those arms pumping. Now quiet the legs and keep the arms right here. We're gonna warm up the shoulders here, so important with kettlebell training. And they're a small muscle group. So I want you to take your hands and go a little faster. Here we go. Just like you're sprinting down the track, don't let that core move. Engage that pelvic floor. Keep everything still. Your middle muscles are holding you in place. They're called stabilizers. Stay there. Good. Nice job. Palms up a little bit. Open those hands. And you can feel your shoulders warming up, can't you? Good job. 
four more. Three. We're going to slow it down. Slow it down right here. 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 And I want you to reach across the body and squat down and then lift out of the movement as you reach the arm across. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. In four more, you're going to hold it. Ready? Hold it here. Take the arm around. Then the other one. Oh, yeah. Big circle. You're warming up those shoulders here. Give me four more. Here's three. Now, in two more, take those feet a little wider. Hands on your thighs. Give me a low back stretch. Drop down. Roll up. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that feel good? Low back stretch right here. So important with kettlebell training. You're going to have a low back stabilizer in all these core muscles. Hold it right here. Take that right foot out and that left foot out. Look over that right shoulder. Tap that left heel. Take some breaths here. Exhale. Couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Thumbs are inside. Fingers are outside the legs. Bring it back to the center. Go to the other side. Looking over that left shoulder. Tapping that right heel. Good. One more breath. And bring it back to center. Walk your feet in just a little bit. Reach down. Get your kettlebell. Layer your fingers. Thumbs lock on top. Are you ready? We're going to do a double arm swing. You're going to lift, reach through, lift. Now see my hips are thrusting. And that kettlebell is almost a reciprocation of that thrust. So you want to keep a nice neutral spine and look somewhere about three to four feet in front of you on the floor. If you want to go a little higher, just let those arms guide up and thrust those hips a little harder. You got four more. Here's four. Here's three. Two more. Last one's gonna hold up. Hold it. Grab your kettlebell. Bring it behind you. Hold it by the horns and just stretch back. Take some breaths here. Exhale. Walk those feet out wide again and let's double arm throw right here. Now you know how to do it. Let's continue. Now, in four more, you're going to pass this kettlebell just to your right hand. Are you ready? Here we go. Just the right hand. Now, the left hand is going to stay on the thigh. There. That's a single arm throw. You got it. Good. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to arm out, back to the thigh. Arm out. And that means that your middle muscles have to catch, help you catch that kettlebell right out in front of your body. Good. In two more, I'm going to bring the left leg into the right. Looks like this. Good. Four more. Four. I'm going to face you. Three. Two. Hold it up. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to do some tricep extensions here. Drop the chin. Bend the knees. Core in. Nice job. Let me have two more. Last one here. Legs apart. Double arm swing. Lift. Nice. In four more, you're going to pass. You're staying put. I'm showing you as I turn. To the left hand only. Here we go. Remember that right hand is on that thigh. Neutral spine. Breathe. Good. Stay with it. In four more, I'm going to take this right hand off my thigh. Ready? Here it is. Here. 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 Now, step in, watch. Step in, step in, good. Step in. Now, step in and take the arm away. Oh, yeah. That's control right there. Two more. All the way up. Ooh, pump it here. Knees are bent, abs are in. Two more. Right here, hold it. Bring it right down to the middle, and we're gonna upright row. Pull. Now, I want a gentle pull on the hand, sort of like you're trying to pull your kettlebell out. Four more. Three. Two. Hold it right here. Cradle it. Walk your feet in. Hold it like a baby. Good. Tiny presses here. Take your right heel out and press back. And let that kettlebell take your weight behind you. Hips back. Dig your heel in. Now turn that big toe toward the floor. Take some deep breaths. Exhale, back up, shift it here. Small little moves, little use here, little smiles. <laughs> Let me have four more. Rock the baby. Here's three, two. Good, hold it right here in the middle. Nice, snug position with the hand. 
dig that left heel, push those hips back, and then push that big toe down. Good job, hamstring stretch. Come on up, march it out, right leg. I want you to take the kettlebell in your right hand. Take some deep breaths here. We're gonna do a turn, take those legs apart. Right here, you're gonna take this kettlebell, you're gonna turn around, four steps to get there, and then catch it in the other hand. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, catch, good. Catch, that's it. Now four more, instead of catching on the last one, you're gonna switch hands, put the kettlebell on that left hand. Are you ready? Here it is, switch them. Got it, turn. Four, three, two, one, here. Brace yourself now, as you're swinging back here, you gotta tighten through that core. Pull it into the hand. Three, and two more. Catch that kettlebell right, switch. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, push. That's it, push. You got it, push. Now you're gonna keep that elbow bent and that wrist as straight as you can. Two more, switch. Kettlebell here, go turn it. Four, three, two, one, catch. Nice, catch. Use that core, catch. That's it. In four more, you'll be all done. Two more. Last one. Hold it right here, march it right. All right, guys, now we're ready for the workout. It's time to pick up a heavier kettlebell if you want to. Check this out. We'll be right back. Okay guys, I've loaded my kettlebell up to be a little heavier. I'm using eight pounds. You use the kettlebell that suits you, okay? All right, I'm gonna take my legs a little wider, and what I'm gonna do is hold my kettlebell by the horns. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna come down here. You hold it here, and then grip it nice and tight. Keep those legs apart. We're gonna do figure eights, right to left. Here we go, right to left. Now you gotta tighten your middle, keep your knees bent, beautiful. Stay with that. Let me have eight more. Keep those elbows soft. Nice job. In four more, you're gonna give me circles over that left leg right here. That's it. Going clockwise. Stay with that. Now remember, as you come down and up, make sure that that kettlebell is staying in a nice, tight circle over that leg. Let's go back to figure eights to the front. Here we go. Eight, seven, good, six. See how my heels are unweighing? Let's give circles to the right, here. And now this is counterclockwise. Nice job. Good. Let me have eight more. You're gonna feel that in the core pretty soon. Keeping your elbow soft, wrist straight. Let's go back to the front for four. Four, three, two. Now give me the circles here. That's it. Give me four to the front. Four, three, two, one, and circle. Now I want you to have a little bit different technique on the kettlebell, sort of a dive, 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 and circle here. So the elbows are lifted on that figure eight. Here we go. And circle. Good. Here we go. Four, three, two, and circle here. And we have four kettlebells. I'm gonna walk back, 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 back and circle as I walk forward. Here we go. Four, three, two, and circle here. Here we go. Four, three, two, and circle here. Good, one more time. Four, three, two, and circle here. Now change to an upright row here, here. Breathe. Good. I'm going to move back so you can see me here. I'm going to take this kettlebell all the way up. Here it is. There it is. Again, at that nice hip thrust. And you still have your upright row grip. Stay with it. Four more. Here's three. Two more. Last one. Hold it right here. I want you to give me a little squat. Keep your chest out and your shoulders back. Our next move is a squat thrust. You're gonna grab the kettlebell by its horns and you're gonna gently put it down. Now watch my hand position here. I'm gonna go here. If you can stay down there, that's great. 
Breathe here. This is a rest. Seven, six. In four more, you're gonna take your legs back and forth. Jack, three times, here we go. Here, 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 here. Hold it, pick it up, here it is. Four, three, two, one. Take it down and up. Good, here we go, squat thrust. Down, back, forward. Now use your belly to do these. Pull your legs up and down. Hold it, pick it up, and four, three, two. Hold it up and squat. Nice job. Take it down, down. Here's three, two more. One more, hold it, upright rows. Four, three, two, hold it, squat it. Here, 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 here. Take it down, back, forward, back, forward, back. Hold it, upright rows. Four, three, two, hold it, and squat it. You got it? Here we go, down, back, down, here. Again, using your bellies as little of your arm power as you can on these. Hold it, upright rows. Four, feel that heart rate going up? Squat it. You got one more? Here it is, down, back, down. Here's three, two more. Keep those bellies tight, head and neck neutral. Good, hold it, upright, pump it. Four, three, two, squat it. That's it, double arm throw, here we go. There you go. And that's gonna feel like a rest to you. Nice. How you feeling? You good? Good, hold it up. Good, bring it down here, you're gonna rock the baby. Good, stay with that. That's gonna get the heart rate up without even moving your feet. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Swap it, oh, that way. Nice job, guys. Let me have six more. Remember, this is cardio. Five, four, three, two, hold it. Switch it, do it again, right here. A little lower. Six more, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, swap it. Let's go again, rock that baby. Good, this baby's gonna go to sleep whether it wants to or not. <laughs> Stay with it. We have six more, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Let's go back to those double swings. Here we go, lift. How's that heart rate? I want you to squeeze those glutes at the top of the move, squeeze them. Nice job, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One more and you're gonna stop on the down right here. March it out, right leg. Hold that kettlebell here. You're gonna shuffle three and hold. Looks like this. One, two, three, tap. That's it. Good. I got it, you got it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Now I want you to keep that. Watch me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm taking that kettlebell from hand to hand. If you need a little help here, you can spot yourself. That's it. Good. Nice. Now I'm going to take it further. Watch. Feeling. Good job. Can I have six more? One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. You got two? One more. Double swing. Down and up. Nice job, guys. Now remember the grip on the double swing is where you want it. Nice and tight. And never let go of that countdown. Stay with it. Good. Two more. Hold it. Bring it here. Slow rock the baby. Breathe. Rest. How you feeling? Six, five, four, three, two. Hold. Swap it. Rock slow. Let's you recover just a little bit. Keep that belly tight. 
chest lifted and open, shoulders back. That's it. Two more. Last one, hold it. Good. You're gonna put that kettlebell in the right hand and march it. Nice job, guys. Tall, chest open, shoulders back. We're gonna scissor jump. Kettlebell in the right hand, left foot forward. Give me six. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Then you're gonna switch it to the other side and start again. Here it is. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Then you're gonna switch it to the other side. You guys ready? Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Six, five, don't let go of it, just switch it. Switch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. I'll show you what it looks like. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. That's it, nice and tall, chest lifted. Switch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Keep going. Four, three, two, one, switch. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Couple more. Four, three, two, one, switch. Last one. Two, one, switch. March right. <laughs> Good job. Breathe. Take it here. Both hands, double swing. Go. Now, the next one's my favorite. It's a shot put turn with a hammer throw. We practice it in the warm up. We're going to start with the kettlebell in the right hand. March it right, right here. Breathe. This hand goes out, turning in that direction. Take it with you. Four counts to turn. Four, three, two, one. Hammer. Push. Now, this hand pushes it back. You push. Push. After four more, you're gonna switch. Three, two more. Here comes the switch, switch. Ready, here we go. Four, three, two, one, catch. That's it, catch and push. Push with the hip, push. Catch, push, catch, push. Two more, you're gonna switch hands. Here's the switch. Let it come down here, turn. Four, three, two, one, catch. Push, catch, push, nice. Four more, four, three, two more. Switch, last time, here we go. Four, three, two, one, throw. Nice, you're almost there guys. Nice little workout here for you. Four more, four, and then we're gonna double swing instead of switch. Two more, here we go. Grab it, double swing. Here we have six, we are there, five, four more, and I want you to march it out. Let me have two more. Last one, finish down, bring it to your side, march right. Good, getting ready to move on. Okay guys, now we're ready for arms, my favorite part. You're gonna use a light kettlebell for this workout. You're gonna take the kettlebell in your right hand and you're gonna go ahead and put your left foot forward and your right leg back. Lean over, put your left hand on your knee and you're gonna reach out and pull. This is gonna be a row now. I want you to get your elbow high above your hip if you can. And you're gonna reach out each time because I want you to extend the arm at the bottom of the movement. Nice job, good. Next time we're gonna hold it for three up. Here we go, hold, three. Two, one. Now it's real important here that you keep that torso long and tall out of the saddle, and that each time, each time you reach forward, you stretch it out. Good. Three, two. Now we're gonna add to that. We're gonna hold up for three. When we come forward, you're gonna give me two flies right here. Ready out to the side. Fly. That's it. Keep that wrist straight. Now row. Ready? Three, two. Out to the side and lift. Up. Good. Up. Do it again. Right here. Three. Two, one, right here, out to the side. That's that rear fly, keep your wrist straight, do it again. Three, two, one, out to the side. Now this time, after your row, you're gonna step forward on the fly. Three, two, back leg steps forward and you fly, here. Now step back and row. Three, two, step forward and out to the side. That's really gonna challenge your balance, okay? Here we go, three, Two, 
feel that arm working? I do. Maybe a little leg too and some torso. Last one. Three, two, step forward. You're gonna give me six here, ready? Six, five, you stay right there. I'm gonna turn towards you, four, three, two. Nice job, hold right here, give me some circles. Oh, come up out of that bend for a second and rest it. Nice, and we have six more looking right through that circle. Five, four, three, two. Switch it, go to the other side. Circle here. That's it. And that's really going to challenge your core. And rest your arms just a little bit. Six more. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. Good. Here, let's do the rows to the other side. Put your right leg forward, right hand on the thigh, nice and tall out of the saddle. Start with a swing and a pull on the row. Here we go. Ready? Singles. Here. Breathe out on the hard part of the exercise, which for me is the up part. Elbow pulls back and past the hip line. Nice job. Good. Next time you're gonna hold for three. Right here, ready? Three, two, one. And you're gonna feel this in the lats. Big wing muscles of the back. Pull here. Make sure that knee is over that foot. Your neck is neutral. It's looking out about three to four feet in front of you. Good. Now you're gonna add on. Hold here, and then you're gonna give me two flies in the front right here. Ready, out to the side. Keep that wrist straight. Beautiful. Do it again, roll. Hold. Nice, keep breathing. Out to the side, here. Nice, straight wrist. Do it again, pull here, hold. Three, two, belly's in. Out to the side. This hand is here to support your body. You need a little bit more support, push down a little harder. Out to the side, here. Good, we're gonna add on from here. We got four more, but this time I want you to step forward for the fly. Right here, out to the side. I'll turn towards you a little bit. Pull, three. Two, step forward, out to the side, here. Good, you got two more sets like that. Reach back. That's the balance we talked about. So you step back and you tighten that core as you're swinging the weight right here. Swing and hold it. Now step forward and give me six here. Six, five. Let me have four more. Three, two more. Last one, front legs apart and you're gonna just pull. Pull, upright row. You're gonna change from this upright row to a double swing. And that's just to kind of get the kinks out of your back. Nice. And I'm gonna swing all the way overhead. Push with those hips, thrust them forward. And that weight's gonna go up. Nice job. Let me have six more, and you'll find that the back of your legs and your hips and your buttocks are doing the work. But your back gets a nice stretch at the top. Let me have two more. Last one, finish down, good. Feet together, left hand on your hip, out to the side, lateral raise, here. There you go. How you doing? That wrist straight, put that left leg out. A little more balance, a little more core. That's it, good. See if you can take this hand away slightly to the front. Lift, lift, lift. Now the last part is really fun, you're gonna give me a knee lift, whoa and back, whoa, and back, whoa. You think you could leave that leg up? Try it. Here, under, three, two more. Last one, oh yeah, upright row, here. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? I know you liked it. Here we go, double swing, come on. Row, that's it, four more. Give me that hip thrust, three. Two more, that was a lightweight, so you don't have to go too hard. Finish at the bottom, turn this way, this hand, this hand, lift. Out to the side, the wrist stays straight. Abs stay in, you're bent at the hips in that ready position, take that leg out. There you go, good, stay with that. Nice, then this arm comes out, here. That's that lateral row, lateral lift, Bring the leg to the front, watch. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Gotta tighten that torso. Next, if you can, leave the leg in front. Tighten up. Underneath. Give me a couple more. Last one. Yee! Upright row here. Beautiful. And two more. You're gonna give me that double arm throw. Ready? Reach under. Lift. 
five, four, three, two. Last one, finish down. Good. We are gonna go to this side again for tricep extensions. You're gonna pull the arm up, lock the elbow into place. This hand or this arm is on this leg for support to get straight back right here. Now, what you're doing is you're letting that kettlebell kind of swing to the front here as you learn the move. The most important thing here is to keep the elbow up above the waistline. Now, two more. I want you to stop it at about two-thirds of the way down. Good. Here. Right there. Almost looking at the heel of your front foot. Make sure the knee's over the ankle. Not letting the kettlebell go past that front heel. Good. Two more. Last one. Now, a straight arm swing and press. Press. Here, press, press, press. Now swing faster and hold for a second. Pull, 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 pull. Good. Pull, pull, pull. Good. You got six more. And we have six, five, four, three. In two more, you're gonna come up with both feet together and continue the press back right here. Press, press, that's it. Good, couple more. Last one, hold it, upright row right here. Pull, nice, keep going there. You got it. And now four more, four, three, two more. We're gonna turn this way and you are gonna give me that pull up, drive the elbow above the hip line, forearm or hand, lean forward, let's kick it back right here. Kick, and let that weight just come forward and swing, because I want you to think about that elbow staying above the waist and maintaining that good form, breathe. There you go, good. Now, I only want you to come part way down, ready? Here, stop it at the back of the heel, push. Good, push. That's it. Push. Stay with it. Four more. In three more, guess what you're going to go to? Six more. <laughs> Let me have six. That's it. Here's five. Nice and tall through the center. Chin lifted, but not head up. Good. Now get ready because we're going to swing right here. Swing for the press back. Push. Reach. Push. Palm up. Push. That's it. Push. Push. You can I have four more? In four more, you're going to step forward. Okay? And you're going to restrict that press back move just a little bit. Step forward right here. Press. 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 That leg is perched. Right leg is stabilized. Two more. Get ready to step out. Wide upright row. Last set here. Pull. That's it. Good. Nice. How about a double arm swing? You ready? Let's go. All the way to the top. Nice. Good. We have four more. Here's four. Three. In two more, you're going to finish down. Last one. Finish down. Walk your feet in. Put your kettlebell down. Grab it by the horns. Bring it up above your head. Elbows back. Knees bent. And you're going to take it over your head. Here. Tricep extension overhead, breathe. Keep your elbows close to your head. Elbows close to your head. And watch, you're gonna just lift knee. Lift. Legs can come a little apart if you want. This is a tricep extension. This is nice for extending the back and working those triceps. In six more, you're gonna hold it down. Five, four, Three, two, hold it right here. Bring the weight down by your right side, bicep curl right here. Curl, curl right there. Curl with the palm up. Good, stay with that. Right there, don't let the wrist bend. Nice job, good. Keep it there for six more, six, five, four, Three, two, last one, nice. You're gonna switch it to the other side. Hand here, elbow tight, pull. 
There you go. And that arm's going to pump up. You're going to feel it now. Your pre-fatigue from the rows and the lateral raises and the tricep. So that bicep is slightly tired. Stay with that. Keep that wrist straight. Beautiful. Stay with it. Nice job. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. And rest it. Good. Swing it side to side. In four more, you're going to march it out. Right foot. Keep the kettlebell in the left. And here it is. Nice arm work, guys. Moving on. Okay, guys, it's, a, it's the workout for legs, one of my favorite of all time. <laughs> I'm using the heaviest kettlebell I can manage, which is 12 pounds. Use the one that suits you best for your fitness goals, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is turn my kettlebell upside down and hold it by the horns. I've got my fingers underneath the horn, index fingers up, thumbs behind. I'm going to take a squat position, which is shoulder distance apart, and I want the skin of the kettlebell on the skin of the body. We're going to just do a little squat. Elbows are relaxed and out to the side. Good. Now, one thing you don't want to do is drop that upper body too low. On squats with kettlebells, you don't have to go very low to get the work done. You see people sometimes going very low, and that's for someone who's practiced. There's a little bit more range of motion in their knees and their hips. Okay, slow it down. Four, three, two, one. And up. Now, when you go to the bottom of the move, you can tilt the kettlebell out just a little, bring the horns into the rib cage, and back up. Good, let's do that again. Four counts down. Four, three, two. Point it straight out and bring it up. Good. Come on down. Four, three, two. And bring it up. Good. We're gonna add on from there. Come on down for four. Four, three, now push over your head for six, right here, and come up. Six, five, keep that kettlebell close to your body. That's it, three, two more, two. Last one, hold it down right here, come up two thirds. Come on back down. Do that again if you like, come up two thirds. Stay in that tension range. One more, come up two thirds, back down. All the way up, push the kettlebell up, and bring it down. Now come up for four, right here, four, three, Two, one, and down. Using the kettlebell is a nice weight here. Take it all the way up. Four, three. Now just the kettlebell comes right back down to your skin right here. Hold it to your skin. Come down for four. Four, three, two. Give me six singles. Push it up. Six. Now watch my legs if you like. Okay, push and lift. Push and lift. Push and lift. Nice. Can I have six more? Six. Five. Using your torso to stabilize. Two more. Last one. Hold it down. Come on up slow. Bring that kettlebell back. Bring it over. Four, three, two. Down here and up and over that head. Good. Do it again. Four. It's a super slow swing right here. Now you're going to change your hand positions. Just grab it by the horns. Four, three. Thumbs wrapped, and up, four, three, two, do it again, four, get back, bring it up, let's go a little faster, here we go, squat, take it back, squat, now when you take it back, you're going to stop it at just the place where your spine is mostly neutral, you're taking those arms back, last time for four counts, four, Gonna push it above your head for six. Right here. Six. Five. Now notice the kettlebell is slightly out from my body this time. Three. Two. Hold it. Two thirds up. Back down. Do it again. Two thirds. Back down. Two thirds. And on the next one, you're gonna shift your kettlebell right here and a double arm swing. Let's go. Lift. Lift. Nice job. Coming up out of that, squeeze with the glutes. Breathe. Nice. Stay with it. 
Stay with that. Good. Remember to thrust those hips. Squeeze those glutes. I'm showing you. Don't move. Five. Four. Three. Two. And you're going to finish down right here. Put your kettlebell on the ground. You're going to take your left leg forward and your right leg back. Right here. You're going to line that kettlebell up with the arch of your left foot, okay? One hand here. You're going to come up, come down, touch it. Come on up. Come down, touch it. Now make sure this knee is only bending over that forward foot. Good. Good. Next time, you're going to go up, and when you come up, you're going to pick it up right here. Pick it up, put it down. Come up without it. Come on down, pick it up. Lift it, put it down. Come up without it. Come on down, chest lifted. Nice, tight, long body out of that torso. Come on up, pick it up, and keep it. Don't put it back down. It's gonna lift and down, right here. Lift and down, do it again. How's that leg? Pushing through the heel of the leg. I want you to think about firing through the hamstring and the glutes. One more, hold it right here. Take this leg out and rest. Take a deep breath, exhale and come back. Take the kettlebell to this side now. Right leg in front, left leg back. You're gonna feel that hip flexor before you start. From here, you're gonna push up right here. Push up, back down and touch. So you're doing a lunge really, keeping that front knee over that ankle, keeping that torso tall and lift it out of the hip bowl. Chest is open, head and neck, neutral position. Next time, go, on, go up. When you come down, you're going to lift the kettlebell off the ground. Lift it up. Good. Put it back down. Nice. Lift it up. Reach back. Lift it. Put it back down. Good. Without it, reach down and get it. Pick it up. Put it down. Last time without it, reach down, get it, and keep it. Same deal here. Lift and lower, and we have six more. Six, and lower. Five, and lower. Four more, four, that's it. Three, good, can I have two more? Two, nice, last one. Put it down right there. Come back to the center, look over that left shoulder, stretch it. And over that right shoulder and stretch it. Good. Bring your kettlebell into this hand. Go ahead and put one foot in front, the left foot. Put the kettlebell on the opposite arm. Come into a lunge. You're going to go three, two, one. Join me when you're ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Do it again. Three. Turning so you can see me. That's it. Three. Now keep that, watch me only, watch. Three, two, one. Watch again, three. I'm gonna pass it under my leg. Do that with me, ready? Three, two. Now the most important thing here is you keep that back neutral, stay lifted out of the hip bowl so that you can maintain that good neutral spine. Keep your head and chest lifted. Three, two, one. Do it again, three. You wanna look straight in front of you and do it again. Three. Now the only difference here is when you come back around, you're going to step forward. Step forward right here. Three, two, one. Step forward. That's a little balance challenge there. Good. Three, two, one. Have you got two more? Three, two, one. One more time. Three, two. Hold it and shake that leg out. <laughs> That is a nasty lunge right there. <laughs> Good. So you had your left leg in front last time. Now it's time for your right leg. Put the kettlebell in this arm. Okay? You're going to go three, two, one. Remember, make sure you have your front knee over your ankle and your back leg way back. Join me when you're ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Back up. Three. Keeping that belly tight. Chest lifted and open. Good. 
and again. Are you ready to pass it through? Going that way first, here we go. Three, two, one. Don't let your upper torso drop, okay? You wanna keep it lifted. Three, two, one. Not a way to work. Three, two, one. Stay with it. Three, two, one. And lift. Three, two, one. Got a couple more like that. Now you can keep these or you can add the stand. Ready, here we go. Back leg to front, stand up, take it back. Three, two, stand up, take it back. Three, two, one, good. Three, two, one, you have a couple more? Here we go. Three, two, one. One more time, three, two, hold it and shake it out. <laughs> That was nasty. <sighs> Good. Next is deadlifts, okay? You are gonna take your right leg and put it out to the side, <laughs> and your left leg, and you're gonna hold this right here for a stretch. Deadlifts are really great for the back of your legs. What's more important is that neutral spine as you go into that forward flexion. Remember what we said about this move. Even though you're bending, you have a nice neutral spine. Okay? All right, left leg is gonna be forward. Right leg is gonna be perched. If this is too much for you, keep your feet together. The weight is gonna go into the left arm. Take that right leg back, get a forward bend. Like you're looking over a ledge. Someone is put there to keep you from seeing what's over it. So your, your belly is really pulled in, your chest is pitched forward, your hips are pushed back. Good. Now you're gonna come down, hold at the bottom, lift that back leg. Stretch it up, bring it down, and come on back up. And you're gonna feel that in the back of that left leg. Take it up, bring it down, and lift it. Nice job. Here, here, here. And up. Got another one? Here. 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 Now this is very hard. Keep doing what you're doing or do what I do if you're advanced. Lift that leg up. Bring it down. Come on back up. See, I'm not taking it down. And come down. Bring it down if you like, but otherwise just keep it up. Hold it there, chest open. Bring it up. Do it again. Take it down. Hold it there. It's a nice balance act. Hand is on the thigh for support. Do it again. Bend it and hold it. Stay there, stay there. Bring it up. Have you got two more? Hold, hold, hold. Keep the chest open and the shoulders back. I want you to really grab with your toes on those feet. Stay there. Hold your balance. Good, other side. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one. Up. Just gotta do this other leg and then you'll be all finished. Down, down, up, up. Now hold down, take the leg up, bring it down, lift out of it. Now remember the weight bearing leg is soft at the knee, keeping your chest out. Remember how we were thinking about looking over that ledge that somebody put there for us, cover something up? You wanna see what's going on over there. Keep that chest open, shoulders back, head and neck, shoulders, in line with the resistance in the body here. Now you can keep doing this, or you can go with the advanced version with me. If you're a veteran, you're gonna come down, leg up. Now you can put it down if you want or not, and bring it up. Good, take it down. Okay, remember that the leg can come down right about now, and you can come up, or you can keep that leg up. Keep going, you got four more. Lift that leg high so you can engage the glute. And up, do it again, down, stay there, nice form here, bend the knee of the bottom leg just a little. You've only got two more, here we go, that's it, and come on up, last one, best one, stay lifted into the hip bowl, don't sink down into the leg of the weight bearing position, hold it right here, march it out, woohoo, now remember, you can go to any of the workouts, combine them any way you want or go to the cool down now. It's your choice. Whew, good job.
job. Okay guys, let's go to the cool down now. No kettlebell for this. I want you to just gently pump your arms, open your palms up toward the sky, splay your fingers, nice and tall. I want you, while you're marching, take those feet a little bit further than hip distance apart. Tuck the pelvic bowl under. I know it looks weird, but trust me on it. <laughs> Hold it here and take the arms back, back and forward. Just gonna open up those shoulders now. A lot of shoulder and back and torso stabilization here, as well as movement pattern. So you wanna stay with that. Good, two more. That's it, hold it right here. Roll them in and out right here, in and out. Now watch what you're gonna do with your body. You're gonna tuck, release, tuck, release. Tuck the hips, release, tuck, release, tuck, release. Tuck and hold, hands on your thighs, low back stretch. Oh, that feels good. And take it up, doesn't that feel great? Keep going. Now this is a wonderful stretch, especially when you've had your low back really in that tight stabilization position. I want you to come down and hold it right here and just round up. Round, release, and round. Give me a couple more. That's it. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Again, and you're gonna hold it up right here. Hold it up. You're gonna shrug your shoulders. Take them back, open the chest. Shrug, take back. And this is stretching that back out and also just taking some of the tension out of that upper body. Good, hold here. I want you to pick up your lightest kettlebell here. I want you to step out, okay, feet here. And I want you to put that kettlebell here and I want you to twist that shoulder forward. Prop the kettlebell against your thigh at the top of the leg toward the hip flexor and you're gonna feel a stretch in the front of the shoulder here. Not too much, don't force it, easy does it. Good, take a deep breath. Come to the middle, just pull your chest open, draw your chin toward your sternum and release it. Put your kettlebell here and drop that shoulder down. Not too much. Keep your wrist straight. You're going to feel the stretch across the front of the shoulder there. Stay there. Breathe. Good. Come back to here. Again, draw your shoulders back. Walk your toes in. Good. Right here. Place the kettlebell on the front of your legs. Grab it by the horns. And roll your pelvic bowl under. Stay right there. Pelvic bowl is rolled under. Hold it. And then start to straighten your leg. Make sure your kettlebell is not against your knee, but bring it down here. Keep your knees soft. Place the kettlebell on the floor. Right there. Bend your knees a little bit more. Take one leg back. Wiggle it until it stops. Then take the kettlebell to the side and press into this lunge. Oh, that feels so good. Now I'm gonna look past the leg I have the hand on. Gentle a little bit of the weight, about two thirds of your weight at most from your upper body on that kettlebell. Take a deep breath, exhale. Good, step forward, right here. Take the kettlebell around to the other side and step back. Sure that kettlebell's right there. Wiggle that back leg until it stops. You're gonna feel a little bit of, tiny bit of bend in that back leg. Push down on that top leg, twist, looking over. Take a deep breath. Exhale, and you'll feel that hip flexor stretch and a little torso stretch there. Middle of your body turn and twist it. Good, and bring it back to center. Inch it up or step forward right here. I want you to grab your kettlebell by the horn, bring it over your head. Put it at the base of your neck, but not against it. And you're looking up and you're stretching back here. Stretching back and looking up. Good job. Bring that kettlebell to the front. Take your legs out to the side. Hold the kettlebell in your left hand. Turn your right foot forward and bend it. Bring the kettlebell to this leg and let it rest there as you lean over. Now gently lower it behind your back and look up. It's gonna give a, a little bit of tension there so you can look up, a little bit of external help on that twist. Stay there. Good, now straighten that front leg if you can or stay in this position. You can straighten that front leg 
and bring that kettlebell down and switch hands. See if you can look up, keeping this arm here if you need to, or maybe just gently against that upper leg. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, bend that leg, bring this leg into a bend, come back to the center, roll those shoulders a few times in the middle. Good, all right. Keeping that kettlebell on this leg, bend that left leg, lean over, gently position this hand, take this arm behind you, and look up if you can. If it's uncomfortable for you to look up, just look straight ahead. Stay there for four more. Three. Two. Good. Now you can stay right here in this position, or you can bring the kettlebell back to the front and just switch hands. Take this hand up, reach up if you can, and just start to think about straightening that front leg a little bit more and looking up, pushing those hips back. You'll feel this in the inner thigh of that leg, front leg. You don't want to hyper extend. If you want to put the kettlebell on the floor and you're able to do that, you can push against it and still open up. Your choice. Bend, swap hands, push up, turn it here. Again, open the shoulders and then reach to the front with your shoulders. Pull to the back of the shoulder, reach to the front. Pull to the back, reach to the front. Pull to the back and hold. Walk your feet in. Right here, you're going to forward bend, forward bend. Right there. And just hold that. Put the kettlebell, if you can, on top of your feet. And round your shoulders forward. Round your back. Good. Lifting the kettlebell slightly up with your toes. Bend your knees. And come on back up. Now pass the kettlebell behind your back. And you're going to hold it just behind your back by the horns. You're going to take your right foot out, dig your heel in. Let the kettlebell travel down your buttocks, and then come on over for this hamstring stretch. Sit back into the stretch. Good. Now I'm going to ask you to stay there. I'm going to show you an advanced version of a hip stretch. So stay right there. If you could, you could put one leg on top of the other and sit into this hip stretch. And you have to keep very good focus on the floor in front of you and sit back into the heel of that left foot. All right, whether you're doing the hamstring stretch or the hip stretch, slowly come out of it. Pass that kettlebell around your body a few times. And switch direction right here. <laughs> Think about it, concentrate. Good, put the kettlebell on your back, right down your buttocks. Take your left foot out, press back. Stay there. Hold it there. Good. Sit back into it. Nice job. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Stay there. Now, if you're a veteran, you can come on up and give me that hip stretch. Right there. We are at the end of our slow stretch here, guys. We are getting ready to say goodbye to you. I want you to keep stretching if you want to. Enjoyed having you for this kettlebell workout today. I'd like to see you again. Remember, if you haven't done this workout, try our first workout. Help you understand all the basics. Make sure you eat something good in about 45 minutes after this workout so you can replenish those cells. Nice, balanced, healthy meal. Come on up out of it. Roll those shoulders back. I'm Jen Miller. This is your adjustable kettlebell workout. I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.